Let's build an API endpoint that, given an image, it returns to us detection of what objects are in this image, as well as a new image outlining these objects. And we're going to be doing this using BuildShip, a brand new exciting tool that combines the best of the low-code and the no-code worlds to make creating back-end solutions, no matter how complex, as straightforward as a few clicks. Y'all can see on my screen here, I've got my project in build ship. I've got lots of workflows. I'm actually going to be adding a brand new one from one of our built in templates. And that template we're going to use is the Google vision API object detection template. So let's go ahead and use that template. So we've got a couple of notes here. What we're going to do is we're just going to step through each of these and of course, fix any issues that come up along the way. So starting up here, we've got our trigger. It's a get request with the path vision. Now we're going to use a different name here. We're going to call this detect objects. Cool. This will be a get request whose param we will pass over to our get query param node. That param is called image URL and it is indeed required. Next, we're going to use the detect objects in image node, which takes as a parameter the image URL that comes from that query value. Cool. Let's hop into the code real quick. I just want us to take a look here. We've got some JavaScript code that brings in that Google Cloud Vision package and given that image detects what objects are in it and returns that set of objects as a result. Great. Next, we're going to be passing this over to the draw multiple object boundaries node given the image itself as a parameter, the objects and the browserless token. We're going to be using browserless for this. And we get an error here saying secret browser list does not exist in your project. So no problem at all. What we need to do is put in that secret and add it. Amazing. Let's take another look at this node's code as well. And we can see this is all being pre-written for us to draw these bounds around each object. All we need to worry about is making sure that our browser list key is set properly. Cool. So the information from there will be passed on to our image object detection node. And if we take a look at that code, we're just creating a response with the objects highlighted and of course the names and the data of the objects themselves. And with all of that done, we can just have a return node here that returns us 200 status code, as well as a breakdown of that image object detection data. And that's it friends. All we got to do now is ship our workflow. So let's go ahead and click on ship. Amazing. Now that that's deployed, we've got a URL here that we can use to test our new workflow. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop over to Postman, grab a stock photo, and we're going to go ahead and detect what's in it. So here we are in Postman. We're going to go ahead and paste in that URL as a get. Then we're going to grab a stock photo from Pexels, and we're going to send this in as an image URL. So we'll go ahead and click on send and our workflow is now going to run for us and detect what objects are in our image. Amazing. And here we can see we've got a balloon, a person, some pants, and that's it. Let's go ahead and open that image in our browser that was generated by our workflow. And there we can see we've got our balloon, we've got our person and some pants. Let's hop back over to build ship. So here we can see we've just in a few clicks created a complex workflow that detects and highlights objects in an image for us. And that's just scratching the surface friends. There's so much that we can do with build ship in a few clicks using AI and many other tools to be able to build these complex backend solutions with little to no code. But that's for another video. Thanks for watching.